Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial, we are going to implement global exception handling in ASP.NET Core Web API using the I exception handler interface. First, let's understand why this is important. I mean, why this global exception handling is important. Well, in any real world application, things can go wrong. Maybe a null reference, database timeout, or an invalid operation. Instead of wrapping every action or method in try catch blocks we can centrally handle all unhandled exception in one place right this helps us return consistent error responses improves maintainability and makes debugging much easier the global exception handler catches unhandled runtime exception business logic exceptions and exceptions that were not explicitly handled in controller actions right so whether it's a null reference exception invalid operation exception or even a custom exception it will be caught globally and you can respond in a clean and user-friendly way we shall implement this global exception handling using middleware which is how asp.net core lets us intercept and handle http requests globally if you want to understand about middleware in detail you can watch my this tutorial where i have explained about middleware comprehensively we are going to build this step by step from scratch so let's get started open vl studio 2022 click create a new project select asp.net core web api and then click next give the project name i give name like global exception demo and then click on next i select framework.net line i can check configure for https and then click on create okay our asp.net core web api project is created let's start modifying this project as per our requirement first of all i go to property launch setting and change launch browser as true right now whenever we run our project so it will launch a browser window okay let's simulate a runtime exception by creating a simple controller right click on controller folder right click on the controllers folder add controller api API controller empty click on add I give it name like test controller let's add an action method like get error this action method will always throw an invalid operation exception we shall use this to verify our global exception handler right okay now let's create a global exception handler class to handle all the exception right click on your project and class global exception handler we shall use the i exception handler interface that lets us intercept and respond to unhandled exception globally so this class will implement i exception handlers implement interface so i click on it this global exception handler class implement i exception handler interface which is actually a new way from dotted 7 to onward to define centralized logic for handling unhandled exception right and then this try handle async method is the method that asp.net core will automatically call when an unhandled exception occurs this method receives http context which is the current http request response context right then the actual exception that occurred and cancellation token it is used to cancel the operation if needed okay now we modify this method to return error response from the server so i change code like where error response is to new status code 500 message and unexpected error occurred and it detailed we add our exception methods now this is our anonymous object representing the json error response next we set status code and content type for the http response this tells the client that response is an internal server error with a json body right next we write code like await http context response write async error response cancellation token it's actually write as json is this actually serializes the error response object into json and writes it into the http response body next we return true returning true tells asp.net core that the exception has been fully handled right 
if you return false then the system might attempt fallback behavior or log it elsewhere so if i summarize all this code it actually implements i exception handler interface and responds and responds with a consistent json error object whenever an unhandled exception occurs uses middleware under the hood okay no way register our global exception handler in our middleware pipeline we know that middleware is how asp.net core process requests and responses and we shall use use exception handler to globally plug in our logic so open program.cs in program.cs first we write code like builder.services.add exception handler global exception handler it registers our custom global exception handler class as a service in the dependency injection container right it tells asp.net core to use our class whenever an unhandled exception occurs next we can write a code like builder.services.add problem details it's optional but actually it is helpful if you want to follow a standard structure for error messages especially in apis next we add exception handling middleware to the pipeline like app dot use exception handler it registers the exception handler middleware in the http request pipeline it catches any unhandled exception that occurs during request processing include those in controllers filters or other middleware and forwards them to the handler we registered okay we are done with our coding now let's run the project and hit the api endpoint in postman or in browser to test these global exception handlers okay i run it this is our controller we are explicitly throwing an exception i write endpoint like api test errors let me put breakpoint here okay it has hit our action method let me put breakpoint in exception handler as well okay f10 okay i click on continue and you can see the global exception handler has caught the error and returning a clean json format message okay continue and you can see a clean json formatted message just the way we want it and that's it for today we have implemented global exception handling in our hp.net core web api using i exception handler interface this makes your api more robust and gives your clients consistent error responses if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials like this see you in the next video thanks for watching